Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Bruce Stories with... Oh. Hi <laughs> <Dean. sighs> hey guys, sorry I'm late. Where have you been? I just beat a Cornwall. Oh, <laughs> pretty yeah. good. Went to visit the uh, St. Austell uh, Brewery down there. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, yeah, had a good time. Brilliant. It was a packing process where the guys were, you know, filling up the boxes right. and getting ready to send stuff out. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it was really interesting to watch them do that sort of thing. So yeah, travelled all the way down from Newcastle. Yeah. Long drive, down we went. That's that hours and hours and hours. It was a lot, yeah. It's, um, <laughs> you know, pretty established brewery. Um, kind of reminds me of Jennings we have up here. Oh yeah, the, the Cumbrian Brewery, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, so yeah, what they're really known for is the tribute. Uh, the pale ale. Yeah, the pale ale. I've seen that around. Yeah, the and the purple cans. That's nice. one. Yeah. So they um, sponsor the Somerset County Cricket Club mm -hmm. and the Cornish Pirate Rugby Club. Mm -hmm. And they're also a proud sponsor of the Gloucestershire Country Cricket Club. Wow. To the tribute there. So they like cricket? They do like cricket. And it's the official beer of the South West Rugby. Actually, it's very refreshing. Yeah. Not too hot, not too challenging, but it's, it's a nice beer. Good. Um, so yeah, we, we sampled that. Uh, yeah, so um, the small uh, batch brewery. Oh, like um, like more juice, yeah, more juice, juice. exactly like that. Yeah, oh, right. where they sort of play with the more exotic, should we say, yeah. drinks that they can do. So yeah, I got to go in there and watch the guys do a bit of brewing. So this guy was just cleaning out. Oh, the, uh, oh, yeah, copper vats are lovely, aren't they? Yeah, copper vats. Copper I mean, it was there. a custom made uh, kit that we've got in here. Wow, um, it's you know, pretty pretty special. It uh, takes inspiration from all corners of the world, yeah. which is everything from Belgian beer, offering a range of new and interesting brews across an uh, expanding estate of pubs, inns, taverns, and delivering more choice. Oh, well, that's yeah. what we want. We want more choice. Exactly. I mean, we have a huge choice anyway, but yeah, more choice is good. Yeah, yeah there's a museum attached, and you've got to sort of play with all the hops, so... So you've done it, was, yeah. Yeah, so Cascade. Sort of, yeah, yeah. Cascade. <laughs> so I was playing with the hops, getting a bit of sniff, <laughs> which was pretty nice. Chinook. Oh, he's great. Yeah, he's and that was the uh, museum. So um, it was founded 160 years ago yeah. by a Cornishman called Walter Hicks. Right. Uh, yeah, so the brewery remains 100% independent and family owned. Excellent. Uh, and they've got award winning cast and ball ales Super. across the southwest and throughout the UK. I mean, they pretty much is did. it the biggest brewery in the southwest? Or is it the only the, well, there's that and there's shops. All oh, right, yeah. Who do Doom, Doom Bar, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know who's bigger, but they definitely do own all that down there. Yeah. Oh look, they've got an interactive brewing map thing toy. Yep. That's pretty cool. So in the Vista Centre, you uh, got to see the secrets of the award-winning ales. What are the secrets? Well, I can't tell you, you have to go. <laughs> all right, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> see it back. wouldn't be a secret, would it? Exactly. Yeah. Got to see the secrets behind the 160-year-old <laughs> brewing process. With yeah. tasters, yeah, we've got to have tasters. Which was good. Yeah. I think one of the secrets must be to make decent beer. Yeah. <laughs> or, or just to monopolise the entire yeah. southwest. If you've been around that long, you're doing something right. Got to play the malts as well, so you've got oh, to yeah. see the difference between the different colours of malts before they all got <laughs> thrown into the beer. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty, really good experience, it looks like. It was, yeah. I like this. This showed you uh, how much hops and how much malt was put into each. Oh, right. So the percentage of each of those things yeah. in each of those drinks. Yeah, totally. <laughs> That's a pretty good tribute, idea. So yeah, they're, they're yeah. known for tributes, but they also do other things. Uh, they've got a proper job, which was yeah. a bit more hobby. Yeah. So in that tube is much more hops. And uh, they're, yeah, they're just taking over Bath Ales, so... Oh, that's a nice label. Yeah. 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 They completely purchased them. Mm. Uh, the deal, which was completed for an undisclosed amount of money. They got the Bath Ale Brewery, yeah. uh, situated in Bath and Bristol. It's portfolio of brands and 11 strong pub estates. But I thought it was quite nice that they keep it in Bath and they don't try and brew Bath yeah. beers. It's better than it being bought up by InBev or something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's still independent, which yeah. is pretty impressive. Yeah. You know? That's good. Yeah. Wine. So wine's always been an important part of the brewery, dating back to 1851. They do. They make wine. They make wine, yeah. I didn't see any wine in the brewery, but apparently they do. Um, when the founder, Walter Hicks, started his business as a wine merchant, Monster, and a brewer. Maltster. Got to be a maltster. Yeah, that's, that's a good, good job, isn't it? What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm a maltster. <laughs> so this is one of their um, smaller batch yeah. beers. Yeah. Um, the dog, and they've also got this was a, um, a stout. And they do stout, which is quite nice, a bit thin Six. for my liking. Was it? Yeah, thin stout. Yeah, that's and, a uh, problem with stouts and porters. I like a thicker one, thicker one. Than a thin one. Yeah. So after that, you 
you've got to go into the, the bar and, and you know, have a beer and Cornish pasty, obviously. Obviously, in Cornwall, yeah, that's what you do. Pass, yeah. And then, uh, obviously, exit. Just exit through the gift shop. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I bought your present back. Oh yeah, yeah, I bought mm-hmm. you some of the small batch brewery beers. Woo-hoo. So the underdog, underdog, and the Eureka. So what is this? This is an unfiltered session IPA, four yeah. percent. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, and I've naturally got the hazy. Single hop American pale ale, bottom conditioned. Ooh, lovely. Yeah, that'd be nice. So um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll try them. Drink. Let's open them and try them. Look, I got some glasses. Oh look, you've got. Glasses that match our personalities, it. <laughs> the short fat one, tall thin one. I've got the bottle open now. Oh, here we go. On. So we should start with the bottle. So yeah, let's start with the bottle. Oh, yeah, that's what that. Do you remember how to do it? <laughs> You've never I ever had any. I've opened that back backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. I can do the pouring of it. Can yeah. you? That's alright. That's good. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? Lovely dark brown. Golden almost. It starts off really mouldy and then it's got quite a bit of. It's actually quite bitter, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It is. This is what we're drinking here. Uh, it was the first small batch of brew they ever did. And it's uh, now becoming one of their regular beers. We moved it up from the small batch up to the normal brew. Yeah, so it made right. it from being a small batch into the, the core range. It has got quite a lot of bitterness in it, hasn't it? Which is yeah. sort of nice. It's very quaffable, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's not strong, I mean, you can like... 4.9, it's, uh, it's almost a session, isn't it? That is a session, right? 4.9. Yeah. What is the definition of a session these days? Well, I told the session was like 5%, but to Anything me, I think, I think below 5%. Yeah. That's my personal opinion. There's no science based on that, it's just me saying that. Because it used to, when, when, I, when I were a lad, when I was a boy, back in the day, it was like 4% was a strong beer. Yeah. Yeah, um, I can remember, um, yeah. Well, you know, um, Stella. 5% was mental. You were, Stella was wife beaters. Yeah. Don't, don't drink Stella, drink proper beer. Um, but yeah, the, the level of acceptability of, of session beer, I think, has got up. Yeah. So the next one we're going to try yeah. is their, uh, their underdog. Which is the first beer they did, and it's in a can, so it's the only one I could find that put in the cans. Yeah, you can see where it's called Underdog, trying to go for that brew dog kind of vibe. Yeah, uh, surprised they get them. surprised brew dog. Let them get away with it, frankly. It's only a kind of bulb. It's only four percent, but it's meant to be packed with flavour for its right percentage. So we'll, we'll crack it open. Yeah. You want to pass up a new glass? Give me all of it. Look at all the head on that. Terrible. I think just we could work out what the hops were. Obviously from uh, the west coast. Oh yeah, it, it sort of smells like your IP, isn't it? Yeah. American hops. You'll be yeah. interested. You, it, I think you'll get a surprise when you taste it. But there's quite a lot of flavour in it. Mm. I mean, if you're going to have a hit focus, it, no. Um, it's quite fizzy. But again, it's very quaffable. That is, yeah, that's a that's a good session. You, you could drink that already, that, couldn't you? Yeah, it's yeah. unoffensive. So do we know what's in it? No, I don't. Okay. I'm guessing there's some sort of like Does it West Coast Simico. No. No. Just hops. Oh, no, no. Aromatic hops. Aromatic hops. From the US and Slovenia. So work it out. You should be able to tell what's in there. Well, I guess to um, conclude that, if you're down in the Southwest for any particular reason, um, go visit that brewery. Cause it's somewhere uh, I've never been to. No. I've never been to the Southwest of England. It was a good experience. And um, you didn't have to pay. You could just walk in, wander around. Yeah. Um, they will give you a guided tour Excellent. if you like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why do we do this? For the love of beer. For the love of beer, that's right. Yes. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right, I don't like it. I don't know what I like about it. <laughs> Ball to the ball. <laughs> The hop is called a Rika. Is it really? Oh, well, there you go. Oh, right, I didn't know that. There's a new one for the, uh, the hop knowledge. Rika hop. Uh, People are out there laughing, going, You don't know about that hop? God, how stupid are you? You don't even know you're Rika hop. Stupid. Ah, stupid. <laughs>